were so you were you were in an and uh, and then you met you met this guy. Well, I guess I knew him prior to that, but just like that's when we really got close and I got to know him. <laughs> were they like high fiving over your head or <laughs> something like that? <laughs> So, okay, you were, you broke up 20 days ago. Who broke up with who? I broke up with him. Why? Uh, there was a few reasons. It, mm, it was a little similar to what she was talking about. I do OnlyFans, and he was really comfortable just, like, kind of living at my place, using my car, and um, we were at Coachella, and hmm. um, some things had happened there, and... He was like with another girl. He told her we were in an open relationship, which we weren't. We were completely monogamous when we got together. And then when I broke up with him, he vandalized my car. Ooh. <gasps> Good times. Mm -hmm. Good time. I sure know how to pick them. Uh, <laughs> so he was, he had nothing going for him. He was living at your place. I'm not going to say he had nothing going for him, but I, I am not shallow. I wasn't going to break up with him from like just lack of ambition alone. So it really took him kind of like, being sneaky weird like because i always thought he was so loyal and that's why i was with him i was like oh he treats me so good he's so sweet and then when i started to realize that he was maybe not doing that i was like i'm out but you met him at a force right you met him yeah but that life. was two years ago we weren't together then okay but somebody yeah, who's, but... somebody who has an inclination towards that kind of so uh sexual conduct is probably not the best bet for like, well, down the road, I'm gonna have a monogamous relationship with this person. Well, I think that like with certain people, you could like choose to be poly and then other people, you choose to be in a committed relationship. So I disagree with well, that. Well, hang on. So if you, if you don't mind, if I ask yeah. a few questions here. Sure. Uh, can I give you a scenario? Sure. Let us imagine for a moment <laughs> that this relationship that you had with this gentleman worked out and you're uh, 35 years old and you're sitting around with uh, little Stephanie, your daughter, and she says, Mommy, how'd you meet Daddy? And you're like, well, we were at a... Uh, <laughs> you know, there was, uh, there was body fluids going all over the place, yeah. and uh, they high-fived over my head, and I knew then your dad that was the one happened. for me. <laughs> like, does that sound like maybe, I... maybe if you think about that in the future, Romantic. that future conversation, does I that maybe produce cute. red flags in your head? <laughs> I thought it was cute, like a love story, you know? I mean, we didn't have to tell our kid that, per se. We could just say we met, like, from mutual friends. Yeah, that's that's not a lie. Nicholas Spark, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Don't blow me up. In like, here. it's not like I, I was the first time meeting him, but, like, I had met him pretty recent before that. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good times. <laughs> well, I mean, but you would have to then lie to your kids, right? I would be honest then. I don't really have a problem if yeah, they're old enough. Yeah, you'd be honest, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to have to be honest about me doing OnlyFans, like all sorts of things, so yeah. I'm not a liar. I'm not a But I mean, would it, would it make you uncomfortable to have that conversation at 35 with little Stephanie it, with the origin story of how I met your father was at a gangbang? Like I mean, that. I think like, you know, when people become a certain age, you're going to have the conversation about the birds and the bees and stuff like that anyways. I don't think when they, you know are like a newborn baby or like a toddler, I need to like necessarily be sharing those details. No, but I mean, even 12, 13, right? Something in there when kids are starting to go through puberty and they become uh, curious about that type of thing, you know what I mean? And they're asking about it. Would you feel any shame at all telling that story to little Stephanie? I think that they could learn from my experiences, both negative and positive, and I could teach them about safe sex and you know, times where maybe like I wasn't being that safe, and well, what so if, say what a safe way to do it. That's what you want to teach little Stephanie. Story. Wait, sorry, two people are talking. What I was say? asking, what if somebody else told Stephanie that story? How would you feel about about how you met him? Mm, I'm not really ashamed of it, honestly. It is what it is. I was it, also like there were boundaries, and like we became very, very close friends before we ever got together. And at the time, I was just with that partner who I was like experimenting and doing those things with. Is he still friends with the guy? Like they the already ones? weren't friends before that happened. Oh, they were just roommates, okay. Well, they were friends at the time, but they fell out like long before we got together. Okay, so you ended it 20 days ago. Uh, has there been a rebound? No, I've been completely celibate, single. Okay, just doing you had a question for her? No, sorry, I asked. Hmm? Oh, she, I she asked already answered? Okay, she answered it. all right. 
And, uh, okay, no rebound, no guys in the picture? No. Nothing? I don't Zilch. have the tolerance right now. No, no. tolerance? Mm -mm. You're sick? Are you sick of men? Break. Sick and tired. Break. Sick and yeah. tired. I'm going to therapy. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, you said that you... Uh, well, but you might be only an away from Mr. Wright. <laughs> no, I actually, like, was very keen on no longer participating in that stuff, which this boyfriend oh. knew, which is why when he told the girl at Coachella we were open, I was like, I'm, I'm out. You know that's not true. So oh, I, no. those days are over. I'm no longer fun anymore. During those days. <laughs> I don't during, think that, that's true. Uh, yeah. Thank you. That's what he said. Okay, so during it. those days, during those days, how many uh, like orgies were you participating in? Have, well, have you? again, to find I guess four doesn't count as one. I never, I guess I never had one. Let's just count it. Kind of community? <laughs> mm, yeah, with him. Okay. Only with him. Well, would you let's go say, to like sex parties? Would you go mm. to sex parties? Yeah. How but many, not many. How many did you go to? Oh, actually, that's a lie. I, I've been to a few, actually. More mm. than 10? What's that? More than 10? Oh, no. Five to 10? Five. Sex parties? Let's say five. Okay. And, and you then, would have sex with your partner or you would like swap? I was only with him. Okay. And uh, there were times where I've been to parties like that and I'm just watching or like interacting, but like not having intercourse. So was we're, your partner with other people? We would have three subs a lot. What's that like to just watch? Just sit there and watch while people do that. Yeah, I couldn't do that. It's interesting. It can be really overwhelming. And I would get turned on by watching him with other people, but then you know, you experience things like jealousy, which is natural, but usually I would experience that more like if it was mm. like after the fact, like if it was just like in the moment, like I actually really liked it. Sure. What about you? 